katika uwepo wa Bwana Yesu Kristo atubariki Yesu Kristo akuinue Yesu Kristo akuponye Yesu Kristo atukuke juu yako Yesu Kristo awe nuru ya hatua zako pokea baraka katika jina la Yesu Amen Tunaenda kuona a short lesson and then tuingie kwa meza ya Bwana na tutabarikiwa sana in Jesus Christ name haleluya Bwana anaweza Mungu ni mwaminifu sana tangu tulipokuwa na nyinyi wherever we met in the service katikati ya wiki God has been so kind to us Now tunaenda kuona a message we We are entering the season of God. Entering the season of God. Already to Mesikia part 1, part 2. We are in part 3 now. Part 3 now. Mungu amekusudia katika wakati huu ambapo hakueleweki. Actually, jia moja shetani angataka kutarawa na watu nae ni jia na ito uncertainty. Mutu hajui waweza tarajia kupata lini kuvuna lini kupata pesa lini you know you live a life whereby you wale mnajua miaka 70s it was automatic unajua mwezi wa ina kuna mvua kama kwetu tulijua kwamba mara mbili kwa mwaka tunavuna it was very clear na ungesikia Ukasikia mzazi akisema mimi najua this time natarajia kuvuna kama ma, mahidi magunia 20. Sisi tulikuweka wakati wa boom ya kahawa. Every when I na kubuka ningeenda kwa tea factory na gunia kama 60. Every Wednesday, every Wednesday. Ukienda mahali kama Abadea, oh everybody even my grandmother had money. Yaani kenda kwa shosho na kura vizuri kuliko kwetu. Eh shosho alikuwa na pesa bwana. Majani. Na kuru pyrethrum. Juzi nimeenda Udhaya. Udhaya wale wanajua Udhaya wakati wa zamani it was the clean constituency. Yaani ugevuka kutoka Kangema uingie Udhaya unaona the difference. Na event ya nika, nikaona jameni Udhaya karibu apewe chakula. It's dry. Hello How comes Nyandarwa wanaoba chakula These are very strange Hello Bwana asifiwe Amen Do you know the world requires prayer now The other day there's somebody who wanted to send money in our account Good money Now serikali za dunia hasiruhusu dola itoke nje. Anaambo ukitaka kutoka ukitaka kutuma dola, anaambo no 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 said wa, wana inchi yao nasema itatoka nje kama ni ugonjwa au project fulani ya kiserikali. Haijakuwa hivyo bereni, haijakuwa hivyo. Nimeenda America nakuta duka zimefungwa kama ni computer mahali you could just buy they are no let me tell you tusiseme ni hali tu ya climate there is something that god atakiwa ingilie kwa maana mungu mimi najua mungu alipouba ulimwengu aliupa ulimwengu na season ukiangalia katika genesis chapter 1 verse 14 chapter 1 verse 14 the bible says mungu akasema na iwe mianga katika anga la bingu ili ili ilete kati ya mchana na usiku nayo iwe ndio dalili ya majira na siku na miaka na iwe mianga katika anga genesis 1:14 ili out of that dunia iweze kuwa na compartment kwamba kuna siku siku na kuna mchana kuna miezi na kuna miaka na kuna seasons kwamba you can say mimi nagojea mwezi ujao ndio mvua huja mungu a 
ufalme Mungu pia ana kitu kinaitwa appointed seasons majira uliowekewa God has what we call appointed seasons the seasons that God has placed for me kwamba ukizaliwa na mama unaposema nge already Mungu ameachilia appointed seasons unapata kwamba as you grow up as you grow up you are now these days i was telling people the seasons unakuta mtoto kuanzia 0 years to 14 years mtoto kitabo afike 14 years aweza kuwa atakuwa kuwa na tabia mbili tabia moja mtoto huyu am, is exposed kwa magari makubwa kwa tv kwa barabara Already anaweza kusema mimi nikiwa mkubwa nataka gari. You know they talk about that is my car. Yeah, that's my car. Unakuta sema that's my dream car. Unakuta kuna V8 I need V8 kama ile ya uhuru. Nataka Lexus. You know already anaanza ku appreciate work and good things of work. Asa mimi nitakuwa pilot. Mimi nitakuwa pilot. Mimi nitakuwa mkubwa wa jeshi. Nitakuwa bishop. Mtoto from 0 to 14 years atakiwa kuwa na self concept na atakiwa kuwa na akili ambao ina appreciate things that can happen in life. Bwana sasa sana. But not this days. Nikukula tu biasi, kurala, bagi, sigara, pombe. Mwingine msichana kuna wengine hapo ukiuliza first born yako ni ya lini? Aliza kwa miaka 13. Mahali ambapo ugejigudua badala ya kugudua your talent badala ya kugudua wewe ni mtu wa maana kile mwenye hey, hey, kile kilifanyika ni kupata miba and sometimes <laughs> kuna moja we had an issue aliambia hivi atealiza akiwa mdogo sana akiza the tubes tilted in the struggle and friends by the grace of god we want to restore the order by grace of god god at some base god mungu tunayem tumikia mungu tunayem tumikia the lord that we serve agetaka kukupatia majira god want to give you appointed season amen na katika jina la yesu jehova ambao nimesimama mbele yake abadilishe mimi na kila mmoja wenu hii maisha ya kukaa uncertainty huwezi ketisha mtoto chini mwambie wewe wewe hata kama utaenda ngambo litakulipia you can say that hello praise god huwezi ambia kijana yako tafuta msichana wa maana nitakulipia dawali we have seen in this church vijana ambao tunalea hapa tuogeni ukweli si ni kweli I always ask what is your dad giving? You can't, you know. Baba yako ako na only 20,000. Na sisi sisi tutatakiwa kulipa dawali as your dad. Kijana akisema anaweza baba anambia unataka kuwa wewe unango. Is is mwingine hata si 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 haikuweko haikuweko bereni. <laughs> Unauliza your son when abolishi gana. Baba. Badai waambie kijana nilijua utaoa. Na nimejipanga. Let them stand on your own. Ah, we need seasons, brother. But we are paying for. Ah, he man be a kuishi. Ni kama na ogo pa kuishi. Ni kapa na. Kuna muzi mungu na tatawa kwa lipita. Iko sa di seven wakatu. Water. Moja kai tu akahuhia. Mungu kai tu si juu wapi. Mungu kai tu si juu alias. Akasema woi. I wish wa gea guka wa wiri. Moja apita. You see. Ah, 
nyinyi wengine wenu ni matokeo ya wazazi ambao hawage kuwa na appointed season and 90% ya uharibifu wa utaratibu wa majira sometime unaletwa na wazazi ambao walikuwa na dhambi ambao hawakuacha Unakuta baba yako wakati agetulia awe na akili. Alikuwa mtu wa wanawake. Kaliobagi na makongeo ni kila pahali. Hata kuna brother wengine wako hutokea. Unashiro utafanya jina wao. Unakuta hakika wanafana na baba yako. Unaino kidogo. Ukira pati. Katatokea kengine. Hata mina wake. Hii. Alichukua pesa KPCU loan akachukua kwa leli akaongeza mke wa tatu. Iko mzee rafiki yetu akila sasa unafiki akaona nyumba tatu pahali hapa. Nyumba za ghorofa ine ine ine. Kila nyumba iko na mke. Sasa huwa anasimama hapo izo, hapo nje hizo nyumba atatoka hivi. Kwa maana wanawake wale watatu kila mwanamke anauliza kaze kataenda lini tuchukue manyumba na anashidwa hata kukura kwa moja wao anaona kama atapewa kitu aende bila kualikwa sasa niambie kama angekaa na mke wake na watoto sasa angekuwa anajipaka vizuri si hata mama angeelewa sasa ule mke wa kwanza hajielewi kwa maana naambua na mnajua ma MP walipitisha. Kwa maana hata ma MP wetu wengine wachafu sana ikifika mambo ya, ya wanawake. Mambo ya bibi watatu. Lakini mujue kanisani sisi tunafuata Christian Marriage Act. Yetu ni mke mmoja, moyo mmoja. Ukitaka ma MP enda pale Parliament Road ukae huko na ushiriki huko. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe. Tuamini Bwana katika mimi niliomba Bwana kaniambia katika meza ya Bwana leo niambie watu wake the Lord will release your season. Amen. The moment utakura huu mkate na mjue siogei mambo ya kubahatisha I have heard the voice of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Unajua kwa nini tu hapa tuna sababu tunaachana kidogo. Kuna wadugu Bwana akiongea wanashika. Kuna wengine hata hawadiki. <laughs> utajipata wewe eh unaenda kusalimia ndugu mwingine pale mbwa za kwake na security kwenda kufukuza people let me say the truth nimehubiri ijidi hii miaka 42 and i can tell you the truth kwamba watu ambao hana msaha na unabii na hana msaha na mafuta ya bwana they are going very far lakini wale wanazoea kanisa, wanazoea madhabahu, wanazoea unabii, wana shida kubwa. Kwa maana utabaki na dini ukose ufunuo. Utabaki na dini ukose nini? Ufunuo. Unabii unakuzaa. And that's why I'm saying nina prophecy very clear. Katika Holy Communion today God is releasing your season. Na hii mambo ya kukaa bila certainty. Amen. Hallelujah. Kwamba the way God anakupeleka mtoto wako wa miaka miwili waweza ona vile utamlea. The way God anakupeleka mke wake ambao umeoa 5 years ago already ameanza kuona utaratibu wa marekeo. Some of the problem to conone young couples is that their brother has no appointed seasons. The only thing you conone is sex na kuzaa. Na mama amekubali kuzaa. Katoto kamekuja. Kazi yako ni kuangalia tu. Boy, hapana. Mama, paka unaulizwa sasa sawa. Titufungue account mtoto mtoto. Titufungue insurance huyo mtoto. Ya nini? Huyo atalidwa na Mungu. Mm. Tukitembea kwako tunafika tu pale shopping center hutaki tuingie kwako na wewe ni mzee wa miaka kumi kwa doa 
sio kwamba uweze barikiwa na kuambia Mungu akupe majira yako mahali umefika god give you what fits that season amen na msiaibike tena msiaibike na leo muamini amen haleluya and that's why wakati wote Mungu anaachilia majira haya kuna tambia kadhaa mtaziona katika maisha one Mungu atatagaza project there is no one ataka duniani bila project fulani utatimiza ukimaliza uzeeke ukufe yes kitu ambacho every day kinakukipisha kuna dugu moja alinuzia plot tukitaka kapia bishop ninasikia sasa niko my season ulifanyaje akasema bishop niliuza plot moja bili tatu nikajeka nyumba ya gorofa saba nilipojenga nikagudua hii ndio jia nitabarikiwa naye nikachukua loan nikanunua plot neighbor hapo next nikajeka ingine ya gorofa nane akaniambia na kwa sababu ya pili haina loan nikachukua loan na nyumba ya pili nikajenga ingine tukiongea already alikuwa na nyumba kama hizo nafikiri sita within five years nabia bishop i now know hiyo ndio bio yangu na ameita mke wake awe manager na watoto wake wamsaidie already they can understand the direction naomba young couples right now nikiwa hapa mungu ataenda kitu kwa ba all young couples in this church i release your appointed season mke wako atajua amen akiwa kwako sio vile alikuwa kwao kwao alitoka kwako kuna appointed seasons of the family pigia yesu makofi and that's why god ataanza ki project your career you have a project utapata mimi kuna line yangu mm. na ina, na any time you land utakanyanga barabara yako utaenda bio dege inapotoka jamo kenyata wao swear kama kuna mawingu itaenda go shit the moment dege inapa inatulia mnaambua toa safety belts na hiyo dege nakibia imefika kwa laini yake kama naenda Cairo ni Cairo naomba leo negotiate through the crowds ufike pahali ambapo you don't need safety belt umekana safety belts kwa maana anytime you can shake anytime you uh, kuwa na turbulence no remove the safety belt you are on your route pigia yesu makofi jesus bless this church uanze sasa the project yako na watu wa kuheshimu kwa sababu ya mahali Mungu amekuweka na msiogope hata kama huna amini Mungu hujachelewa uliokolewa na ulikuja ibada because God still has your moment has your moment na muwe very serious muwe very serious leo sipitwe amen kitu kingine utaona wakati ambapo Mungu amekuingiza kwa your season utaona there is a light in darkness kuna nuru imetokea na wewe huchanganyikiwi giza haitawali haleluya jambo lingine haleluya utasikia kuna mchoro kwa akili yako unakwambia you see like now let me give example mlisikia bishop mmoja akisema miaka 15 imepita nilikuwa nasema kwa chama cha mabishop nasema It is 10 years ago 10 years ago kabia mimi ninaona kanisa ya watu wa 10000 ninaona eka moja ni parking eka ingine ni maofisi na tv station na shule si juu nini ninaona ninaona unakuta kwa akili kuna mchoro na wewe na holy ghost in just christ name there is something an impartation by the holy ghost na hiyo kitu hairuhusu urale 
Amen. Sasa zikiwa naweza amuka saa saba. Nini baya? Ni 10,000. Nasali tena. Naenda kwa magoti. And I stay there for hours. Ni kitu. Sasa zikiwa na nauliza. Asubui tafikalini. Nipike simu America. Nipike simu Nigeria. Nipike simu South Africa. Nipike. Unasikia the vision is keeping you awake. No time to waste. Kwa maana in your mind. There is the extent of the vision. That's why wakati Mungu aliita Joshua, anamwambia Joshua katika chapter 1 verse 2, anamwambia hivi Joshua, Joshua katika uh, ha, 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 verse 4, Joshua 1 for tangu jangwa hili na mlima huu Lebanoni mpaka muto ule mkubwa. Muto wa Farati inchi yote ya wahidi tena mpaka bahari ile kubwa upande wa machoweo ya jua hapo dipo patakuwa pako wewe araba naambiwa hivi we motivation the motivation for the season kutiwa moyo kutiwa mtisha kutiwa push anaambiwa verse 3 Haleluya. Kila mahali zitakapo kanyanga nyayo za miguu yenu nimewapa ninyi kama nilivyomwapia Musa. Haleluya. Jambo lingine confidence. Confidence, security. Confidence. Mungu hata kuacha kama hata kuwabia how to live with people. Mungu anamwambiaje? Verse 5 hapata kuwa na mtu yoyote atakayeweza kusimama mbele yako siku zote za maisha yako kama nilivyokuwa pamoja na Musa ndivyo nitakavyokuwa pamoja na wewe sitakupungukia wala sitakuacha confidence for the season just as i was with Moses no man will be able to stand before you as long as you live Amen. I will be with you just as I was with Moses. I will never leave you. I will never forsake you. Confidence of God's presence. Hivyo ndivyo Bwana atakufanya kuanzia dakika hii kama una imani. Sameni tushukuru. Yesu unipenda kwa kona kimbilia ni wewe utosh fu akinishia ya fiche ubavu Isaya 53 aya ya 4 Hakika ameyachukua masikitiko yetu amejitwika huzuni zetu lakini tulimdhania ya kuwa amepigwa amepigwa na Mungu na kuteswa bali alijeruhiwa kwa makosa yetu alichumbuliwa kwa maovu yetu adhabu ya amani yetu ilikuwa juu yake na kwa kupigwa kwake sisi tumepona sisi zote kama kodoo tumepotea kila mmoja wetu ameukia jia yake mwenyewe na Bwana ameweka juu yake maovu yetu sisi zote na sasa katika jina la Yesu shetani hana haja ya kuweka juu yetu yale mambo ambao Kristo already amejitwika. And you want not to tell the devil get away with your lies. You have no right to harakisha. You have no right. You have no right to place on us 
yale mambo ambao Mungu wetu already ameambeba. May now we are looking for you. Eda pale. Ah, yeah. praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to pray for you now. Anything about either ni maumivu uko nao, ni pesa huna, ni school fees huna, kuna mtu anakutesa. Ah. Kuna mtu anakutusi. Kuna aibu napitia. We are telling the devil. We cannot carry what Jesus has already born for us. Amejitwika huzuni zetu. Amebeba masikitiko yetu. He was bruised for our transgression. He was wounded for our iniquities. Amen. The chastisement of our peace was laid upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Right now as I say that I, hear this. Ata kama huna imani kuba. All what I need in you no to you will be healed. Even if you don't have a lot of faith I just need you to, to allow God to work. Ata kama huna nguvu nyingi I declare now just allow God to work. Be healed now. Natakaza upone sasa. 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 Katika jesu kristo pona sasa. Wazazi wote wako hapa na muna watoto wako na breathing problem. Breathing problem. Ina mkono juu. Ina mkono juu. Ina mkono juu. Mutoto wako ata kama ni mkubwa. Ako na shida ya kupumua. Ako na shida ya azima. Ako na shida ya growth kwa mapua. Your child ako na breathing problem. Inua mkono hivi. Inua kabisa. Inua. Shukuru bwa na mungu anaponya mtoto wako. God has confirmed. He's healing your daughter. Healing your son. Yes. Apaka shoto rima kashaka. Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus rose from the dead. Jesus rose from the dead. Father, we bless you. Uko hapa na uko na brother. I'm not talking about sister, a brother. Abaye alipotea wazazi hawa juu ya kwa wapi? Hapatikani is just a strange brother. Abaye amesumbua wazazi wako sana. But he's your brother. I'm a boy and of late he's known hajulikani yako wapi ina mkono wako tu juu on behalf of your parents thank you thank you ina mkono juu on behalf of your parents ina mkono juu in the name of Jesus we claim him back na kwa mamlaka ya Kristo ambaye alienda chini sana paka kuzimu kwa mamlaka ya resurrection of Jesus Christ we destroy satanism we destroy the yokes of darkness we destroy covenants of devil we destroy altars of witchcraft we destroy the patterns of the devil na kutoka leo kwa mkono wa bwana tumnyakuwa your brother na akobreo na arudi and we declare majira yake the appointed season for your brother zitendeke sasa echetani royalty christ we cast and destroy you now royalty mpiga kristo ila andiwe ila andiwe royalty mpiga kristo ila andiwe in jesus name in our mikoj bana kobana we want now to share the holy communion now right now right now right now right now sharaba katara ba zekerere ba kutarima sikata baba ba shakara ba zanda makata pa kusoto bi kasata raba bozindere bazaya we bless you lord we bless you lord we bless you lord we bless you lord 